Cooper has been a gem defensively. Magic goes back to Cooper. Showtime in Hollywood, USA. I still like Michael Cooper. Kind of an offense, and of course they reverted back to it when they were under pressure. And you saw him hesitate a couple times before he even went to it. He was looking for some kind of an alternative, and the Lakers were not giving him enough movement underneath. Let's go inside McKinney's huddle. So they, the defense is like this. This guy, nobody played him. If they are here, 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 and here, Kareem is there. We have one here, one here, one here. Do not let them come to the ball and receive. Now, once they do get it, you've got the double team and go after the ball. They will put all foul shooters on there. Let's go for the steal. If we, if they score, call timeout. If you get the ball and there's not enough time, call timeout. Yeah. One thing, Brent, right here. It's San Diego basketball. Now both clubs are in a penalty. If there's a foul committed, the Lakers must pressure for the ball. 16 seconds are down. Then the free throws will be taken. This is very important. They've got to play tight defense. And at the same time, here comes Nader back. And San Diego on offense, Brent, they want to keep the ball in there with shooters. So they bring in all the players. Where Lloyd Free is selling. Everybody, come on. Let's move it up. Lloyd Free orchestrating the crowd after drumming music on the heads of the Lakers all night. 46 points already. Now they run down the clock. Taylor sends it to Wicks. Wicks cross court now to Free. Free to the open now, Williams. They bring it down to four seconds. Out of bounds, off his foot. Two seconds. Lakers have got a shot. Cooper had checked into the game for Jack McKinney. Michael Cooper was on the floor, and San Diego turns it over with two seconds. That was a good call. That ball did go off the leg of the San Diego player. They had that one in the bag. All they had to do was hold on to the basketball and get the foul. That's Gene Chu. Well, let's Here's the play. Raymond Williams right here. Went right off his leg. It's kind of blocked out by the fans. You couldn't see the ball go off his foot. But it was a good call. It had a good angle on it. Brent. So Gene Shue Gamble going for the shooter in Freeman Williams. He took Taylor out, who normally is the best ball handler he's got over there. But he wanted Freeman Williams on the floor. He had been much more potent offensively. But now Freeman kicks it out of bounds. And the Lakers have got two seconds. Thanks to my statistician, Jack Murray, who picked up that substitution that time of Cooper on the floor. I never would have noticed him. And he came all over the ball that time. So Jack McGinney and his bench will have one more shot now. They trade up 102-101 and two seconds left. What's the name? Spencer come up and set a back screen for Magic here. or into Kareem immediately. All right, so this is So it has come down to this, and the Lakers have got a chance. If you're wondering about Freeman Williams, he's come off of Gene Shue's bench and poured in 16 points tonight. 28 points off Shue's bench, only 14 for McKinney. Ford will inbound it. Bryant's on him. The clock will start when it is touched by someone inbound. Ford's got time. Spencer Haywood is out there. Nixon, Magic Johnson, and Kareem. Ford sends it to Kareem. Sky hook up and good. Lakers win. Score it. Kareem Abdul Jabbar has given the Los Angeles Lakers a victory. And Magic Johnson is out there celebrating like they just won the NCAA championship. Hotline Hundley is out there. We've got Magic Man and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar just throwing a tremendous hook shot.